One of downtown Youngstown's most prominent skyscrapers will be up for auction next month. It's now called the Chase Building because of the bank that occupies part of it. The auction will take place April 19th, 20th, and 21st with a starting bid at $500,000. It'll be done online through the 10X commercial real estate site. The Chase Building stands 14 stories on the northwest corner of Youngstown Central Square. It's owned by the Cleveland-based Frangos Group, which plans to auction it off. My first reaction was a little bit of shock, but, you know, then also I thought of it as an opportunity. Nikki Posterly is Youngstown's Chief of Staff and Director of Community Planning and Economic Development. I think it would be great to have some residential apartment building, uh, apartments in there. I think it's a great spot for residential. And the downstairs where the bank was is absolutely beautiful. C could you imagine a restaurant there? The bank lobby is one of the building's most impressive features. This picture looks to be from the 1970s. The lobby is three stories with marble walls and a vaulted ceiling with mosaic tiles. There was a lot of money being generated. And Bill Lawson of the Mahoning Valley Historical Society says the building was completed in 1928. There are pillars around the front entrance and intricate artwork around the building. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Really speaks to the optimism and the wealth and the opportunity that was going on here. It sits next to 20 Federal Place, the former Strauss building, which the city owns and recently announced a plan to redevelop. And I think it's a great opportunity now to look at both buildings since they're kind of side by side. And, and if we're going to develop one, let's look at the other. The Chase building is also one of downtown's skyscraper buildings, which both Posterly and Lawson say need to be saved. So I think those skyscrapers, they mean something and, and we need to preserve them and, and, and make sure they stay. I would definitely hate to have any of those buildings be torn down. We've already lost a couple of major landmark buildings on the east side of the square with the Todd Hotel and the Palace Theater. And if, if we were to lose any more, it would just completely throw off what the central square was supposed to be. I also talked with Lou Frangos, owner of the Frangos Group, who is originally from Youngstown. He says this is the last building he owns here. If he doesn't sell it, Frangos says, quote, we might just develop it and start buying more again. That's part of the nature of the real estate business. Frango says he also is interested in buying 20 Federal Place and says apartments in both buildings are certainly a possibility.